Generating an AI model is cool and all, but how can we take this to the next level? How can we change her clothing? How can we get her to wear the brands of the sponsors that want to work with us? In its current state, this is very difficult to do with AI. And I've been getting mixed results trying this out, but I'll still show you two ways to get it done. I have a new course, how to build your own custom AI tool. You have ideas, this is how you implement them. Link in the description below. Okay, the first option is Adobe Firefly. And we're gonna be using what's called the Generative AI Fill Tool. So on their website, you can create a new account. I'm gonna click Try Generative Fill, and it'll bring you to this page. Now we need to upload an image, preferably of our AI model, and then change the clothing. All right, let's start with a brand new model, a brand new prompt. First, I'm gonna write slash settings and make sure Midjourney version six is selected. This is the newest version. And we're gonna click raw mode and stylize low. And let's go slash imagine. And I'm gonna prompt a half body portrait of a brunette woman wearing a t-shirt. Now for the aspect ratio, here's the available options in Midjourney. To get a nice half body portrait, I think I wanna go a vertical orientation so let's go two by three, and I'll do that two colon three, hit enter, and here are the results. I'm gonna go open in browser. Now I want as much as the shirt as possible. I was going for something like maybe this third one here. Basic portrait, we got a white shirt. I think this fourth one could work well too. This first one, not enough of the clothes. So I'm gonna click U3, let's choose that one. It's gonna upscale that photo, and I'm gonna right click, go save image, and save it to the computer. Back in Adobe Firefly, I'm gonna upload that image, and now we're gonna to have to mask all around her shirt so that the AI knows which part of the image to change. So it starts you with this little circle here, and I'm gonna start drawing all the way around the shirt. You don't have to be perfect, but try to get as much as the shirt as possible, and I'm gonna stop on her arm there, and let's zoom in a bit more. There we go, going all the way around the shirt, up to her hair, around the neckline, and fill in the rest. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now after clicking on insert, I get to describe what I want. So she was wearing a white t-shirt, let's change that up. Let's try a red dress, completely different to what she was wearing. I'm gonna click generate. Here are the results. So they give you three options by default and three types of red dresses. Zooming in, you can see the arm. This is what I mean by it's a little janky. Even her body doesn't look like she fits the dress that well. You can add more variations by clicking this button, and it's gonna bring up the mask again. And here are the new options. I like this dress a bit better. Still some issues with the arm. Look at that medieval dress. I'm gonna try masking more of the arms here. Let's give the AI a little wider of a net. And we'll try the red dress prompt again. Hit generate. Okay, there we go, that's a lot better. It seems as if giving the AI a little bit more freedom, you're gonna get better results, especially with this Adobe tool. Let's say you were asked by a clothing brand, they wanted to put their shirt on your AI model. This is how I would do it with Adobe Firefly. For the example, I'm gonna take a basic Nike black sweater. So something like this, it looks like the logo is in the top right very simple swoosh logo. And I'm gonna prompt it something that looks as close to the clothes as possible. So this one's easy, a plain black sweatshirt. I'm gonna hit generate, and we're looking for something that looks as close to this sweater as possible. And that's not bad, I like that first one. That second one with the drawstrings won't work. You know, that third one could work too. It kind of looks like a hoodie, but we're gonna use this one. I'm gonna click download, and then I'm gonna open something like Photo P. Let's open that photo. There we go. Now we need the Nike logo. I'm gonna Google Nike logo PNG white. I'm gonna click in, I'll download the PNG. We need a PNG so it's a transparent background, and we'll open up that photo in Photo P as well. Select all, edit, cut, paste it in and scale it all the way down so that it's small enough for the sweater. I'll position it a bit better 
And so it doesn't look so fake, like it's so much brighter than the rest of the photo. I'm gonna hover over images, adjustments, click on exposure and lower the exposure a tiny bit. There we go, it's a little less vibrant and bright. Hit okay, we'll fit to area. And there we go, we added a Nike shirt on our AI model. This is not perfect, and I'm not an expert in Photoshop or Photopea, so all you graphic designers will do a much better job than I did just here. But this is to get you started. If you wanna remove the logo, you're gonna need a premium Adobe Firefly account, and that is $7 per month Canadian, which is about five bucks US. The next option is with Midjourney and using their blend tool. We have our AI model. How do we put her in different clothes? So we also need to generate an image of the clothes that we want her to wear, and then we're gonna blend the two pictures together. So let's go slash imagine, and I'm gonna prompt it a large fur coat, brown fur, fluffy, white background. We'll keep the same aspect ratio. And here is what we got. We're looking for something like the fourth image. So keep generating until you get that. We want the full coat, white background. That will make it easier for us to remove the background, make it transparent so we can blend the two images. It's an easy choice here, upscale number four. And I'm gonna right click and save the image to my computer. Then I'm gonna to go to Pixel Cut. It's a free AI background remover, it's super quick, so I like to use it. I'm gonna upload your image. There we go, it removed the background. I'm gonna click Download. The standard quality works just fine. And back in Discord, I'm gonna go slash blend. And it gives us two options to upload images, image one and image two. For image one, I'm gonna choose our AI model. And for the second image, I'm gonna choose our fur coat, but with the background removed. So you can click in any image, hit enter, and here are the results. It's also giving us like a PNG image with a transparent background. Now the fur coat doesn't look the same. This is a lighter brown, but we at least got the AI model to put on different clothes. And looking around, I like this first one. I don't like the shading there. This fourth one's pretty good too. It looks more like our original picture. So I'm gonna upscale four. Let's save this image. I'm gonna go back to Pixel Cut. Let's upload our image and it removed the background for us. I'm gonna hit download. Now over in Photo P, I'm gonna upload this image and our original AI model. Let's select all, cut, paste her into here. I'm gonna scale her up and there we go. Our AI model is now wearing a fur coat. Those with better Photoshop skills can touch this up, clean up the edges, make it look less like AI, maybe raise her from the background with a better drop shadow. Let's see what would happen if I blended the original AI model image with the fur coat, but on a white background. So it's the original image, no AI background removal on both of the pictures. I'm gonna send that in and here are the results. I actually like these a bit better than when we use the transparent background. They already have the drop shadow for us but the fur coat is not the dark brown like we wanted. We would still need to do some image editing to get the coat the correct color, but you have two options. One with the transparent background, if you want to add the AI model to a different scene, and then one option that generates more like the original image, and it's a lot easier too. You just take both images generated with Midjourney and blend them together. Let's see if we can blend images in Midjourney and get logos. So I'm gonna use Adidas, and let's go with this one, the big Adidas logo on the front of the shirt. I'm gonna right click, save image as. I'm gonna go back to Midjourney and go slash blend. And let's first blend in the photo of the Adidas shirt. We're gonna try switching the order. And then second, let's use our AI model. So send it in. No, so that didn't work at all. I'm gonna try it again, but switch the order. We'll do our AI model first and the Adidas shirt second. All right, it doesn't seem to matter the order of the images that you put in Blend. Changing clothes is possible with Adobe Firefly, Generative AI, and the Blend tool in Midjourney, but adding branded shirts, branded clothing, is not yet possible with AI. You're gonna need some extra photo editing skills with something like Photoshop or Photopea. Now there is a third way to do this, 
using stable diffusion web UI. You can download the code from GitHub and run it on your local computer. You need some pretty strong specs in order to run this though. Or you can run that model on the cloud with something like Think Diffusion, and you'd use the image to image tool and then in paint, same idea. You'll upload a picture of your model, draw the mask around the shirt, and then prompt it up here of what you wanna change. But I found the results to be similar, if not a little worse than Adobe Firefly, and it's way more complicated. If you wanna build your own AI tool, there's a new online course in the description below. And if you like this video, there's two more on the screen right now, catered to what you like watching. Come check it out. Let's all learn more about AI together. Peace.